Welcome to Widex e-learning tutorial on fitting unique Encompass GPS 2.0. This will be a binaural fitting with two unique 440 Fusion hearing aids. Compass GPS opens to the session start theme displaying the client's audiogram. Select the connect button to detect the hearing aids. Next, define the right and left hearing aids using serial numbers or by playing a tone using the musical note button. Then select Next. If no hearing aids are detected, follow the on-screen checklist to troubleshoot. Next, use the drop-down lists to select the hearing aids options. These will vary depending upon the hearing aid being used. In this tutorial, we will choose the RIC M receiver, a custom hard ear tip, and use the default vent size. If the options for the other hearing aid are identical, use the copy icon to quickly set them. If not, then use the drop down list to select the options. The settings in Compass GPS must match the actual options on the hearing aid. Once complete, select OK. The initial fitting is now complete using the audiogram. This is indicated by the check mark in the audiogram based fitting bar. Sound Tracker is the default graphic in the fitting window. It displays the performance of the hearing aid in real time. The light colored bars reflect the input level at the microphones, and the dark colored bars the amount of gain based upon the input as a function of frequency. Hearing thresholds are displayed using standard audiometric symbols, and UCL is indicated at the top of the graph. The sound tracker graphic can be stopped to provide a snapshot of hearing aid performance at any time, and then restarted if needed. Various other graphs can be found using the Views drop-down list. The precision of the fitting can be increased by performing the feedback test and sensogram. These can be found in the Precision Fitting bar or in the left navigation bar. If guidance is needed, then select Fitting Wizard. It consists of the feedback test, sensogram, and acclimatization steps. We are going to proceed by selecting the feedback test in the left navigation bar. An estimated feedback test is used in an audiogram based fitting. However, it is highly recommended that a feedback test be done to give the feedback cancelling system an accurate starting point. Before starting the feedback test, check the noise level meter to make sure it is quiet enough to run the test. Select Start Test. Wait for it to finish. A completed test is indicated by the text Test Completed and a check mark when there is enough gain to amplify sound. Repeat feedback test for the other hearing aid. If there is enough gain to meet the rationale used in fitting targets, there will be a green circle icon with a white check mark. If the test result indicates insufficient gain, this will be indicated by an exclamation point in a variety of different locations. Hover the mouse over the icon to see additional information and possible solutions. Next, select Sensogram in the left navigation bar. The sensogram for Unique has been redesigned to align with standard audiometric test frequencies. The minimum required frequencies are at 500, 1000, 2000, and 4000 Hz, as shown by the red or blue underlined bar. Measure the sensogram thresholds using the preferred audiometric measurement procedure. For example, start by clicking the 1000 field. It will be populated with the audiogram threshold. Use the up and down arrows to change intensity. Present the tone by hovering over the Tone Activation button. 
the tone is being presented when the bar turns yellow. Once threshold is determined, move on to the next frequency. Repeat until all four required frequencies are measured. Additional frequencies can be measured if necessary to further increase the precision of the fitting. Typically, these cases will involve precipitous or atypical hearing loss configurations. Measure the sensogram for the other hearing aid. The precision fitting procedure is now complete. Continue by selecting Overview in the left navigation bar. Notice the two check marks which indicate that the precision fitting has been completed successfully. Whenever you need more information, remember you can use Compass Help. Just press F1 or select the question mark icon in the upper right hand corner. Thank you for your attention.